We know the importance of wearing a mask to protect our nose and mouth from the coronavirus, but a new study suggests it may also be important to protect our eyes. The CDC already urges healthcare workers to do it, so should everyone. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the latest research to find out. We've all seen the images of healthcare workers in those full face shields. In July, the CDC started recommending that even healthcare professionals in low risk environments wear eye protection. That's after a study in the journal Lancet found face shields, goggles, and glasses could lower the risk of infection from 16% to 6%. The virus just needs a way in. He doesn't care whether it's the nose, the mouth, or the eyes. Experts think the nose and the throat are still the main entry points for the virus because of the mechanics of breathing. But the surface of the eye is lined with the same mucous membrane that the virus likes to bind to. There have been reported cases of viral particles being detected in tears. Um, however, at this point, there's no clear cut um, data saying that, um, you know, infection through the eyes is a, you know, primary way of infection. It's more in, in animal studies that that's been proven. Now, a new study out this month from China is suggesting that just wearing eyeglasses might help. The researchers looked at 276 hospitalized patients, and they found that those who wore eyeglasses more than eight hours a day seemed to have a lower rate of infection when they compared the number of hospitalized glasses wearers to the overall numbers in that region. Goggles can be thought of kind of as an extra level of insurance where healthcare workers probably need to do this uh, and not so much the general public. Dr. Christian Ramers of Family Health Centers of San Diego says we shouldn't draw too many conclusions just yet from these early observational studies, which can have flaws. If there is additional evidence that builds up, then that's the point that we change guidelines. Look, the, you know, people have had whiplash from things changing and going back and forth. And first, you don't need a mask, and now you do need a mask. I wouldn't be quick to run out and make the recommendation for everyone to wear glasses. USC ophthalmologist Dr. Annie Wynn says the evidence needs to be stronger because changing the guidelines could have harmful effects. If someone who's not used to wearing glasses, would they be touching their face more? We know that, you know, the viral particle can live on surfaces for a few days, up to a few days, depending on the surface. And so if, you know, someone were to be touching their glasses, who's has been sitting next to the viral particle, could they be infecting themselves? Still, some experts say people with underlying conditions might want to consider adding eye protection as long as they're careful not to touch their face. But for now, the CDC is not recommending goggles or shields for everyone. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Doctors have suggested that people who wear contact lenses might want to switch to eyeglasses to cut down on the number of times they touch their eyes. But Dr. Nguyen says there's no hard data yet showing contact lens wearers are at greater risk from the virus. It